Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seeds. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Corn School. We're down at Pancor, Ontario today at the Pride Education Center, joined by Matt Chappell, Pride Agronomist. How's it going? Well, Bern, I'm, I'm better than this corn. Ah. Yeah, you've been getting a lot of calls about late season nitrogen, you know, lack of it, denitrification. What's happening with this plant? And you know, you're hearing this from a lot of growers. Yeah, for sure. So I think this particular plant, you know, we're seeing that firing up from the bottom. We're at the ear leaf. We're very pale. This is not what we would like to see. And in fact, now that we've had pollination, we're seeing tip back in the plant. So. You know, I think some weather, earlier weather events this growing season really are playing a big part in what's going on here. So that's all that moisture that leads to that denitrification and you got some problem errors, right? Yeah, so, you know, we had a lot of guys got their side dress nitrogen applied early and in good time. The crop was growing like gangbusters and then excess moisture in the month of July really caused some leaching losses and some denitrification. So, uh, really, you know, taking away that plant available nitrate and, uh, you know, compacted soils are also a cause of some of this firing too. So headland areas where we can see this stress mm. first. Question for you, what happens when we have, you know, denitrification and, and, and nitrogen challenges early in the season versus what we're seeing here with late season nitrogen challenges? Well, Bern, I would rather see it earlier in the season because I believe soil mineralization from warm temperatures, dry temperatures like we had early on can more than compensate for those losses early in the season with an early rain. And in fact, then we have more time for management opportunities because we know as we get farther into the growth stages that those yield losses are irreversible. Yeah. And the plant takes up a lot more nitrogen early season than late, right? That's right. So when we talk about that rapid growth stages from V6 to V10, that plant can be taking up as much as a pound of nitrogen per inch of growth. And in fact, by the time we're into the R stages of development, 80% of the plant's nitrogen has been taken up. So, hey, here we are. It's uh, mid-August, closing in on late August. Um, what, we're not gonna be able to do much now, but we can you know, make some plans at harvest and maybe next year to mitigate this in the future. What about harvest? Yeah, we'll talk about harvest first. I think we really have to take a management approach on this. We can't ignore these fields. I know we think that, oh, they're lower yielding, lower economic return, we'll leave them till last. But I think to get the most out of them, we have to do some strong assessments in the field. Uh, start by doing push tests as we progress, as this plant prematurely senesces. We have to acknowledge the disease pressure that we may see in the month of September because any disease could shut this down further and stress upon stress, we're more susceptible for issues. We can do a pinch test as this plant turns brown and determine the actual stock integrity. And of course, we've got some blunt ears, maybe we've got some poor pollination. We're gonna have to do some, some work to mitigate losses at the header, those mechanical losses. Now, uh, what about next year? I mean, when we're getting, you know, we're revving, we're, we're working this winter, making some plans. What can we do at planting and spring next year to sort of make sure that this doesn't happen again? I mean, there's so many great corn farmers in Ontario and they know their soils and they know their nitrogen strategies. And I think the growers that truly succeed well, they understand their CECs. Uh, they have a two to three different forms of nitrogen approach. Uh, guys that are use, utilizing a weed and feed, maybe putting some nitrogen with their, with their herbicide. Yeah. Most important, you get it down in a starter form with your planter and at least side dress that crop or wide drop, split those applications up to get to your target nitrogen. This was a year that warranted more nitrogen as we saw those, uh, as those excessive rainfall events. So I think, you know, being aware of the weather, the growing environment around us really helps us maximize our nitrogen uh, use to grain fill. Awesome. Well, hey, some great insights on the corn school, Matt. Always great to have you along. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Bern. <laughs>